It's the sound of money. <laughs> uh, so two bowls. Hi there, I am in Mossy Rock, Washington today. I am, my husband John and I are pet sitting for my parents who are in Morgan Hill, California, which is near San Francisco, along with my sister and her husband. They are going to my nephew Gabriel's first birthday party. My nephew, Brandon and his lovely wife, Myra, live in Morgan Hill, California, and they're inviting the family over to celebrate Gabriel's birthday at a park. Last year, John and I went when Myra was pregnant, so it was a baby shower, but just couldn't do the commitment this year. So we volunteered to pet sit my parents' dog. I don't even know what kind of dog it is. I'll have to film something. <laughs> with the dog rusty he's really cool so we arrived last evening and we watched some tv and hung out it's a really nice place uh they own a mobile home on land and it's just a really peaceful cool city here and i filmed footage here from the retro phoenix mercantile a few weeks ago which i'm looking at right across the street but right now i'm going to go into their thrift store called blessings i wanted to go last time we we're here but they're closed on sundays and mondays so it's saturday now it's only been open about half an hour and i got to get in there so let's go take a look at what's inside of there got some cool things out here this is unique what it is used for but okay let's go in i'm gonna have to do voice in here they were playing some very loud old-timey christian music <laughs> It wasn't my style at all, so I had to endure it the whole trip. But, hey, at least it was Christian music. Okay, checked out these really cool glasses, but they're too expensive. Like, most of the goods, hard goods in the store, their prices are way too high, depending on what it is. Anything I'd want to resell, they were high. $25 for that craziness. Do you guys know what those are? They're lid covers, believe it or not. That was for a very large bowl. I discovered that a few years ago in a novelty gift shop. They had different sizes of those and they're very cool. I just didn't need one. So I was looking at this Seahawks barbecue tongs. I did find a, another one a minute later. I was going to get it. And then I looked them up on eBay and it's not worth much. So I did end up putting it back. You never know what you're going to find in this area. I usually just take a peek. I was going to get that and I end up leaving it. It's a banana holder. That was just for me personally. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, container store. That's a good store. There is the other one. 
that's the spatula. And they were both kind of expensive, $4 each. And if they've been worth 20 and up on eBay, I'd be fine with it. But after I looked them up, no. As you can see up in the back. This is a Tumbleweeds mug, and I did end up picking this up. It was only $1.99. They do sell on eBay depending on what kind it is, and this was a large mug, and it had scripture on it, which I really like. So I did pick that up, and it's on list on eBay. Not for a lot, but hopefully it'll sell soon. I always look at the mugs when I thrift. I really enjoyed looking through them. Now, if you get the right ones, they'll sell right away and for good money. But if you don't, they could sit in your store quite a while. I was going to get these to put with a set. I'm selling some other glasses that look just like that, but they're tall glasses. And I actually decided just to keep those. Thought these were really cute, but I wasn't going to purchase them. Just wanted to show you guys. My cat is meowing to be fed. And I feed him at 6 o'clock every night. And it's only 5 o'clock. He loves the moist food. I give him a tablespoon in the morning and at night. He's obsessed with it. You guys get an idea what's there. I purchased this and I've already sold it. Just $10. thought it was a, a, a fine buy for a dollar. And I've already sold it. So, not a lot of money, but for a dollar, I'll take that. I was looking at this bride and groom knife set. It's for cutting a cake at a wedding. And sometimes those can be good money on eBay. I just was not interested in purchasing them. But you might want to comp those out if you see them in the future. another section I l usually look in you just never know what you're gonna find here if you guys feel like looking for Tupperware some of them Tupperware is going away if you haven't heard and some of the items you might find that's cute mama bear I think they have the period in the wrong spot don't think that's $24.99 it's probably $2.49 but you never know so if you guys want to comp out Tupperware while you're thrifting, feel free. It's not something I enjoy selling. So I didn't look any further. I do look at molds. Sometimes molds could be valuable. Something else you have to comp out. I love this section. I've always looked at this section, at least lately, for tumblers. I have sold some tumblers for around $20 or so. Tal is a good brand, T-A-L. And usually the ones that sell the best are the metal ones, stainless steel, not the plastic. I was here are some Tupperware containers like I was talking about. I really like them. I'm a big fan of orange. So I was thinking about getting them. I put them in my cart or one of them in my cart, but I don't think I ended up getting it. And I didn't get that tumbler in my cart. This is another section I'm always looking at, the bedding and the linens. Linens. I don't like listing or photographing the linens um, that are not new in package. 
So I'm usually looking in here for new and package items. And as you can see, these are all used. And sometimes I'm looking for myself as well to add a bundle. I was considering getting this really cute Winnie the Pooh. I guess it's you hang stuff on it. <laughs> Put it in like a child's room and I thought it was really cute. I thought it might be handmade. It was $5.99 but in the end I really didn't think it was bringing a lot of money so I did put it back. I thought that was nice but not $10.99 nice. The crab was cute. I think I did pick him up just he caught my eye. And I like beachy stuff. I thought this was really cute. It's so true. I did end up getting this. It was only $1.25 as you can see. If you guys don't know, it's like a blow dryer and curling iron holder. I didn't really give you a good look at it, but I listed that on eBay yesterday and I think it'll sell because it's the only one I could find. I really like these old blow dryers, but not for $8.99. Tweety! I found this really pretty pitcher. I believe it's like for tea or hot water and my mom drinks a lot of tea so I got it for her. I thought it was really pretty. I thought she can keep her hot water or tea in there. I usually look at the glasses, uh, sunglasses, usually. I don't sell prescription glasses. I like selling certain types of sunglasses if they're designer 
or sought after, but couldn't really find anything there that was worth picking up. <laughs> I really liked this necklace and I was going to pick it up, but I didn't know the price until I got the register and she said it was like $8 and I'm like, uh, I don't think so. So it went back at the very end. I'm always looking for scrunchies for my hair. I really like that. That was cute. The dice on Finally made it over to the clothes. Yikes. $14.99 for a LuLaRoe. Just too, too much. It pays to read signs. I thought that said large tops. So I went through all the clothes and picked up a bunch of large tops only to go to the register and she told me it was extra large tops. So I took the large tops back and got extra large tops <laughs> so i didn't show you guys my all haul but i did get a few things that i'm going to be listing here's the dove at my parents house they have a hey i hope you guys enjoyed that footage of the thrift store i know i didn't get a lot of high-end items but just giving you a little view of what the local thrift store at my parents town of Masu Rock looks like. I did get a few things and I just listed uh, most of them, not all of them, and I'm sure I'll get some sales. But I wanted to show you guys two things that one thing that I've listed and one thing that I've sold so you could go out and look for these when you're sourcing. One of the things I got when I was out sourcing, not at Masu Rock, but at a local thrift store, paid maybe two to four dollars for these they're foot joy if you guys haven't heard of that brand pick it up if you find them there it's a very good brand i've sold a few of these shoes these are like golf shoes for women and um these actually did sell what am i talking about they sold for 16 dollars <laughs> so yeah be on the lookout for these foot joy foot joy makes different kinds of shoes um among them golf shoes and for men and women and i never go wrong when i get foot joy and i only had these listed i don't know maybe a week or two and they sold so and especially for summer it's a good time people are out golfing and doing outdoor activities so be looking out for that and just sold this about an hour ago if you don't know it's called zara Hemi. Hemia Hemla, something like that. I don't even know how to pronounce it. But it's by Catan Games. I sold another one of these a um, couple of years ago. I actually got it as a gift. And my husband and I didn't play it, so I sold it on eBay. Catan is right here. Catan makes several different kinds of games. And the one I sold previously was a different game than this. But these are high end games, you guys. And people, I mean, people pay up for these when they buy them. So you could, the resale value is very good. So I just sold this for $31 and it was on sale. I think I had it for like 40. So when my uh, store went on 20% off, they grabbed it. So I'm happy with $31. Think we paid no more than five for this. So be on the lookout for Catan Games 
whether it be this one or one of the other ones. Like I said, they're high-end games and people, it's very highly sought after, people want these. And we did count all the pieces. My wonderful husband, John, is the game counter in our family and he counted all the pieces and it's complete. So I was able to say in the listing that it's complete. And another trick, you guys, I buy painter's tape and that's what I use to tape up the sides. So then when people take this off, it's not gonna tear up. Well, it's not supposed to tear up. See, ha <laughs> ha. It's not supposed to tear up this part, but if you use regular tape, a lot of times it does tear up the box, which you don't want. You want somebody to get the box intact as possible. So that's the money, uh, uh, that's the sound of money. <laughs> Uh, so two volos I want to share with you guys are not what I went thrifting for in this video but nevertheless I thrifted for them and they sold so be on the lookout and it's that time of year for air conditioning and I got mine going it's about 95 today yikes but thankfully I'm inside and I'm cool hope you guys are doing well I will see you next time take care subscribe if you haven't comment share this Love you so much. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.